In this video, we're going to take a look at the two methods that you can use to factory reset your Google Wi-Fi mesh network. Factory reset refers to erasing all current settings and data from a device and returning that device to the same setup state it was in when it left the factory. We would typically perform a factory reset if we planned to give away a device, wanted to return a device, needed to erase all information on a device, or we wanted to restart the setup process for a device from scratch. The first method for factory resetting Google Wi-Fi is to use the Google Wi-Fi app. We recommend that you use this method where possible as it will delete all current settings, data, preferences, and any Google Wi-Fi cloud services data. More importantly, factory resetting from within the Google Wi-Fi app will ensure that all Google Wi-Fi nodes are disassociated from your Google account. In order to complete a factory reset from within the Google Wi-Fi app, you need to select the Shortcuts and Settings tab, then Network and General from the Settings section. From within Network and General, you need to locate and select Wi-Fi Points, Details, Device Settings, Restart. You will find that there are options for both restarting and factory resetting your wireless network. Let's select Factory Reset. Before we start the factory reset process, we're informed how long the process will take, told the number of Wi-Fi points we'll be returning back to factory defaults, and reminded that the reset process will clear all data from the Google Wi-Fi app. As we're ready to proceed, let's select Factory Reset. We are now shown a second warning message asking us to confirm that we wish to perform a factory reset, along with a note informing us that the process is not reversible. When we select OK, the factory reset process will begin. During the reset process, the Google Wi-Fi app will inform us as to what stage of the factory reset it is currently in. We're informed first that the reset has started. Then that the reset is in progress. And finally, that the reset process has been completed. With both Google Wi-Fi nodes now reset back to factory defaults, we can select Done. The Google Wi-Fi app will now show us a card that informs us that Google Wi-Fi is offline. And as we've returned the Google Wi-Fi nodes back to factory defaults, we're shown two options, to either open Wi-Fi settings or open the help guide. The second method for performing a factory reset is via a hardware switch built into each of the Google Wi-Fi nodes. This option will delete all current settings, data and preferences, but it will not delete the data Google has collected and analysed from cloud services. Instead, any cloud services data collected by Google will not be deleted for six months. If we lift up the Google Wi-Fi node, we will find a reset switch on the back of the device. To factory reset the device, you need to first remove the power. With the power removed, locate and hold down the reset switch. Now with the reset switch held down, plug the power back into the node and wait 10 seconds. The indicator light on the node will flash white, then turn blue. When it starts to flash blue, you can release your finger from the reset switch. The indicator light on the Wi-Fi node will flash blue for around 45 seconds before turning a solid blue. This signifies that the node is in the process of being returned to factory defaults. The whole process will take roughly 5 minutes. Once completed, the node will pulse blue or amber to indicate that the factory reset has been completed and that this node is ready to be set up. The indicator light will be blue if the node is connected to the internet, and amber if it is not. It is for this reason that we recommend that you don't have the node connected to the internet while factory resetting, 
as an amber light is easier to identify and provides a better indicator as to when the node is ready to be set up.